Welcome to another Method Man Productions lesson. I'm your host, Mr. Silva. Today we're going to learn about systems of equations, and you need to know two things. One, you need to know how to graph. If you forgot, just check out one of my videos. And number two, you need to know that the solutions of systems of equations are where the graphs intersect, where they cross. So wherever that coordinate is that the systems cross at is the solution. Example one, what is the solution of the system of equations below? First thing you got to do to see where they intersect, which is the solution, is graph them. The one in red, start at the y-intercept, two, go one, up one, over three for your slope, and then you have two points. You can make a line out of it. There we go. Should look pretty close to that. All right, the one in blue, it's easy to graph it when it's in slope intercept form. So let's just do that by solving for y first. Subtract an x to both sides to have y all by itself. y drops down equals negative 2 minus x. I always tell my students to put a 1 there if there's no slope. That way you know that the slope's negative 1. All right, let's graph this one in blue. Y-intercept is negative 2, and the slope is negative 1, down 1 over 1. All right, we're almost done with the problem. Just graph it. Just look pretty close to that, and boom. The solution is where they intersect. I'm going to draw a smiley face right there. So the solution of this system of equations is at negative 3 and 1. How do you know if your answer is correct? All you have to do is substitute the solution into both equations. So my solution, the intersection point, was negative 3 and 1. Negative 3 is my x value and 1 is my y value. Just plug it into both equations and in the end they should both make true statements. If that happens then you did the problem right. You press that pause button right now and try this problem. Just kidding. Anyways, remember the solution of system of equations is where they intersect, where they cross. So if they cross at that point, that's your solution. Just a little clue right below. Graph it first and then solve for y if necessary. It's easier to graph when it's solved for y. When you're finished with the problem, just unpause the video and check your answers. I try to trick you with this one. There's actually no solution to the systems. If you graph the first equation right above y equals 1 half x minus 4, it starts at negative 4 up 1 over 2. The one in blue you had to solve for y first. So solve for y and you get y equals 1 half x minus 3. If you graph the two lines, they're parallel. Parallel means they have the same slope and they will never cross. So like what I said, the solution is where they cross. But if they don't cross at all because they are parallel, then there's no solution. Hopefully that helped. And I'll show you more ways to solve systems of equations. But first, you got to... Subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.